Both boys have escaped from here five or six times between them. We've had to have the police involved, helicopters, police dogs. They were just escape artists. The boys were diagnosed with autism when they were two and a quarter. It was quite evident there was something not quite right um, with them. You'd come home from work mm. and there's no response. Mm. Mark would just come in, hello boys, and they would just ignore him. I got nothing back from them at all. Didn't feel they loved us, did we? No, no. Um, they didn't have any emotion, interaction, no expressions. So we just cared for them, loved them, and fed them and that was our life. You go through lots of emotions, you feel guilt, you know, is it something in your genes, is it because of your age? You look for all kinds of reasons because you feel it's your fault. They wrecked everything, it soiled everywhere, threw up everywhere. Everything that could be broken and twisted and snapped was done. Just trashed the place, just pull it apart. Everything had to be screwed down. Screwed down and up high. Both boys have escaped from here probably five or six times between them. Um, we've had to have the police involved, helicopters, police dogs. And that's why we needed such a high fence all round, yeah. because they were just escape artists. Every professional advised us, but most of all for them. Put it's them into residential. Into residential. So it wasn't just um, experts, it was also friends and family. And we, did, we went and had a look at two residential <coughs> schools and you can't get any lower than that as, as parents to go and find <coughs> an alternative um, place for your children to live. We talked and talked and talked and we both just couldn't do it. We just could not give them up. Jacob and Samuel, they're like any other child. They want to fit in with society. They want to do everything right. To say to them, come on boys, do it this way, they can't. And it's almost cruel. Conventional teaching in schools is that the, the boys are doing inappropriate behaviour. So we've got to show them appropriate behaviour. So what the Sunrise programme, what we're taught is we have to enter their world. And by entering their world, we're going to get their trust. And so we literally copy what they're doing. The Sunrise Programme is a relationship-based therapy. So it's about an understanding that autism is primarily a social relational disorder. Autism is about a person's difficulty being able to connect and interact and form relationships with another person. Our approach is going down to sort of the root cause of what is going on for that child. It was an absolute eye-opener because the people who were, were teaching it had a direct involvement with autism. Because autistic children are well known, you just, you just can't get eye contact. The first time, you, you will never forget because they've never done it before. And um, I was at the table and I was just joining him, spinning, and suddenly he stopped spinning and just looked up and looked straight into my eyes. And there was a look on his face as if to say, you, you know what I'm doing. You're with me. It was a wonderful experience and you never forget it. 
And then, of course, you're now in their world, and mm. that, over time, kind of slightly change the activity, and without them knowing, they're copying you. Gradually bringing them into our world. And things start to happen that experts said was impossible, would never happen. But we've been experiencing miracles. So much for looking at me, that is amazing. You're really gonna do another scratch. Hey, thank you for looking back, nice. I've seen them change in quite a profound way in terms of their ability to follow instructions, the, the level of calmness that they have, their desire to want to try to communicate. I was told the boys would see you, me, no different than, say, the postman. But now I can see they love their mum. I can't deny it. They come up to they me, cuddle, they, they cuddle, kiss, they kiss. They interact. The future for Jacob and Samuel since, since the Sunrise programme is limitless. Mm. We've got two little boys now who are loving, and they interact, they're caring, and they're part of the family. Every expert said that would never happen, it'd be impossible. Now we've got our boys and they're coming back to us.